Cache County Police are investigating an attempted robbery at a Burley convenience store. Mosquito traps in the county are testing positive for West Nile virus. The Twin Falls County Pest Abatement District sets traps at the beginning of each week. This week, two out of 180 traps tested positive for the virus. A new University of Idaho report takes an in-depth look at Gem State counties from population growth to economic development. The report shows how both urban and rural communities are recovering in the wake of the recession. New information is being released about a recent string of burglaries in Burley. Ruben Ortiz Jr. and Ramon Flores are charged with seven counts of felony burglary. And I'm Amy Burnett. The wildfire report tops the news. The Clearwater Complex is close to 43,000 acres and is only about 15 percent contained. On the wildfire Fire report. Fire crews in northern Idaho are slowly gaining ground on several wildfires that have now turned into three separate complex fires. That was Republican candidate Donald Trump talking at a town hall meeting this week. This time, Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl was the topic. Now, Bergdahl's lawyer says the statements about his client are threatening the soldier's right to a fair trial. New details emerge into what appears to be the vicious murder of an elderly woman. Thanks for watching the news at six. I'm Amy Burnett. Today, an 86 year old man is being charged with her murder. Law enforcement officials are still piecing together what happened Friday night. Joey Martin, Friday Host First News, is live in Twin Falls with the latest information. Joey? They'll be in the States for two weeks, and as Kelsey McFarland reports, for many of the visiting crews, this isn't their first time overseas. Our CBS station in Roanoke, Virginia, is mourning the deaths of a reporter and a cameraman. A disgruntled former employee gunned them down live on television this morning. Thanks for watching the news at 6. I'm Amy Burnett. The suspect then posted his own video of the ambush. We want to warn you, the video you're about to see is disturbing. Craig Boswell reports from outside WDBJ in Roanoke.